Hey guys, Rarocopter here with a quick tutorial on installing DayZ, which is a popular Arma 2 mod that has just exploded in the last couple days. Um, I've been browsing the official forums and Reddit and hearing from a lot of friends that they've just been having tons of issues installing the game, and I just wanted to quickly go over the what I think is the easiest way to get this up and running. Uh, some requirements for this are, uh, this is for the Steam version, so if you purchase through Amazon, this is not going to work for you, without modification that is. And this is also for the combined operations package. So keep those things in mind whenever you are watching this and kind of change up what you do accordingly, uh, or probably follow, find another guide because uh, I think they, they'll probably be vastly different. So. Okay. Uh, so I am assuming that you have already purchased through Steam. The first thing you're going to want to do is find Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, and you're going to right-click and uh, launch Arma 2 Combined Operations. What this is going to do is do a first run of the game and create directories and the first run settings files that need to be created uh, in order to play DayZ as well. So uh, go ahead and launch that. It's also going to install something called BattleEye which uh, is the anti-cheat, I believe. Yeah, it is, uh, which Daisy also uses. Uh, a lot of people have been having issues with, uh, they, they'll try and install that and they need administrator privileges. If that's the case, just navigate to your Steam folder and right click and run as administrator. Uh, hopefully, a lot of, most people shouldn't have that issue. But once you're done with that, the next step is to right click that exact same uh, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead and click on Properties. We're going to click on Set Launch Options here in the General tab. And you're going to type dash mod equals at daisy space dash no splash. And I will put this in the description. Basically, all this is saying is that we want to run the mod daisy. And this is also the file path, which I will soon show you. And no splash just makes the game load up just a bit quicker. Uh, once you're done with that, go ahead and close out. And what we are going to do now is create the directory structure for uh, DayZ. So if you go into my computer, uh, most of you are going to click on C, but mine is actually in the D drive. Navigate to your Steam folder. Where are you at? Why are you not in alphabetical order? And then we're going to click on Steam Apps, Common. And op, uh, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. In here, you're going to create a folder called at DAYZ. Basically, every mod for this game gets their own directory, and that's where the files are going to host. So go ahead and create that directory and go inside that directory and create another directory called add on. Uh, I'm not sure if that needs to be a capital A or not, but I would recommend just doing it because that's what I've always seen and heard. It probably works without, but you might as well. And basically inside of this add-ons folder is where all the files for the mod are held. Uh, it's going to be blank for you guys, obviously. Mine is filled with all the wonderfulness that is Daisy. Uh, luckily, there is a gentleman by the name of Wara that created a tool that fills this directory for you and basically does all the rest of the work. So let me... Just give a shout out to him. Here's his website, warum.com, W-O-R-R-O-M.com. Uh, he basically made a tool that pulls down all the files for you and allows you to play the game through it. Um, I have all of this information conveniently linked on our site, which is armadays.com. And if you go down here, this is where it's currently being held. This site is very much in progress, so uh, don't judge too much, and uh, this will probably move. but. Uh, for the meantime, this is uh, where that tool is being kept. If you click on that, it automatically downloads it. And uh, I'm not going to show the installation because it's pretty basic kind of Windows-like installation. And once you're done, this is what you get. It's a very, very, very basic interface. And really, the only two things that you need to fill in are these two fields here. Um, and by default, for 95% of the people that are probably watching this video, these two blanks, or sorry, these two fields are going to be filled in correctly already for you by default. 
Um, my Steam folder is a little bit different, so I did have to change this to, to where mine is located. But definitely double check and make sure that, uh, that, that it is correct for you as well. Here, the URL is defaulted to the Swedish FTP site. Um, I live in the US, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and change it to US just because that's where I live and it'll be a lot faster. I'm sure a lot of you can probably make this change as well. Um, and I believe there's a Canadian one as well that's brand spanking new, but not 100% sure on that. Um, and I will definitely put this info in the description as well. And that is literally it, ladies and gentlemen. You can click check for update, and it is going to navigate to the site for you, figure out what files that you don't have, download them, and uh, extract them to the folder that needs to be uh, filled with all these wonderful files. Uh, yeah, that's that's literally it. So now you have all the files, and you can click this magical play button. And what that's going to do is launch Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. And because of those uh, launch options that we set earlier, it's actually going to launch DayZ through that. Um, so I'll just show you that it does in fact work. This is the box that... I don't actually know why they have this box, but this is the box that you usually get when you load it up. And uh, another great thing about this I will mention is uh, a couple of the other launchers that are out there don't go through Steam. They go through other ways and it doesn't actually show you in Steam and you don't get your Steam overlay and people can't follow you into the game and that kind of thing. Um, so that's one big advantage to using this particular launcher. Yay, we're in. Um, I will go ahead, just for the sake of it's useful and I'm already in, I'm just going to show you how to make a filter real quick just to make sure that you get into an actual DayZ server. So once you load into the multiplayer section, all of these servers, or sorry, a ton of these servers are going to be non DayZ servers. I'm pretty sure every single Arma 2 server is going to pop up for you. So if you go down here to the bottom and click on Filter, and under Mission, you type DAYZ, that'll ensure that all of your servers are DayZ servers. And uh, another thing that I usually do is I type in the patch number here, just to make sure that the server that uh, or the server list shows only the patches that the most up-to-date servers are going to show, basically. Um, and that'll also make sure that I'm compatible with whatever servers I'm searching for. So the current patch is 1.584. And as you can see, well, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can see because I'm using Camp Studio, but uh, <laughs> it, all these say 1.584, and all of the mission types say Daisy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, a, the, if you have any issues, you know, feel free to comment, and I will try and help you out. There's also a handy dandy FAQ dealio on DaisyMod.com, which is the official site, somewhere on here. I don't know where it is because I've never had to use it, but I'm like 98% sure there is one around here somewhere. Maybe it's under forum. It's probably in the forums. Um, but there's a lot of resources for if you have particular error messages. And uh, definitely comment if you have any questions. And if this video was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And also check out, I'm doing a series on Surviving DayZ, which is a lot more kind of in-depth, in-the-game type stuff. You know, experimenting with weapons, vehicles. Uh, a couple of the videos, I think I'm going to actually go into some of the psychology behind it, because this game is just a, in a league of its own, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you guys, and uh, comment if you have any questions.